Judgment Day. Judgment Day. Judgment Day. Don't you just love that word? It sort of like sends it out into the universe is that I'm the ruler of everybody and I'm here to judge you. And really in reality that's not even close to what Judgment Day is. It's really written to me to be interpreted as the day that we all stop judging each other. We stop saying you should be this way and you should be that way. You should read from this book and you should read from that book. Judgment. It's a very strong word because there's no right or wrong. We live in a world of duality. So my world, according to me, is how I see it. And your world, according to you, is how you see it. So for us to sit here on our high fence or our podiums and hold our Gospels or hold our books or our Korans or our meditation books or whatever it is and to say my way is the way my way is the only way is really to stand in judgment that everybody else is broken so where does that leave you in your big picture in life you're looking at the world as being half beautiful and half ugly well maybe that is your reality but do you need to tell your reality to the rest of the world and then be collectively become this energy? Because the people that are standing there with their books in their hand, which is the Bible, and yes, it is one of the most beautiful books that's ever been written, but it's also one of the books that has been transcribed, rewritten, misinterpreted, turned upside down, inside out, dissected, argued over, ridiculed over, created wars over, and more hate in the world. So this beautiful book too has its duality. So you see, to stand there and say, my book is the book and your book is the wrong book, is judgment. So when one runs around the world and they don't understand the collective energy that is created in the sense of fear and the sense of what is being called now doomsday, doomsday will come to your doorstep. It can't come to my doorstep because my vision of doomsday doesn't even exist. When you see the beauty in the world and you see kindness, you cannot have a world that's ridiculed with hate and deception. It doesn't turn up at your doorstep. Now, yes, it does exist in the world because we live in duality. And this is what it's all about. We have the free will to choose who and how we want to live our life. Do we want to run after some reverent shaking a book? burning a Quran, creating mayhem, creating hate. This is not spirituality. This is not enlightenment. This is not how you get to 5D. This is not how you meditate and can talk to spiritual beings. And, and Jesus, he turns up too. Any of them will turn up. All of the archangels, all of the disciples that have spoken in words of love and kindness, and the Mother Mary energy will turn up. They, they, don't, they haven't gone anywhere. They're still spiritual beings as spiritual light. We don't go anywhere. We don't transcribe or just disappear into dust and never being seen again. We become an entity of light and we go on with our life. Or we come back and we repeat something that we really need to learn. We really need to learn this. We really need to learn love. We really learn, have to learn to say to people, it's okay if you choose to be this way. I get it. I see that you get joy out of it. I see that you're smiling when you read that book. I see that you can take some words that somebody else has written and it lights up your face. None of these books were written for people to hold them and shake them in people's faces with hatred and judgment. So if you really want to think about judgment, think about what you do every day. Where do you sit on the fence? Who are you looking at? Blessings to...
and many blessings to all and i hope you have a wonderful day wonderful life and that everything comes your way to your doorstep that you want not what you don't want if you want to find out more about me, Trisha Kelly, um, you can find it at trishakelly.net. I'm a spiritual teacher. I'm also an author of a book called Spirit Boy and Earth Spy, which is available on Amazon. It's a great stepping stone to teach children and even adults are absolutely loving it because they learn about the law of attraction through the eyes of a young spirit in a dramatic story. So um, enjoy your day and much love and light to all in the world and hold it in your heart that this is where we're supposed to be.